What up, people? Chris here. Chris goes outdoors. We're at the Appalachia Trailhead in New Hampshire. Right by Route 2 on the highway. Big cars rolling by. It's very busy. It's only like 7 o'clock in the morning. I've been up here since about 6. And uh, the parking lot's been full. Completely full. I am heading up today. Planning, anyway. Mount Adams. Uh, probably Madison as well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how the day goes. I've heard Adams is quite a hike, so let's do it. heading up the airline trail so at the intersection of Beechwood Way. It's been a very smooth trail so far. Uh, not too rocky, not too much elevation gain either. Maybe a mile and a half up so far. It's getting a little bit more hairy, but still not too bad. So I'm just gonna keep on heading up. Estimated from the parking lot, 4.3 miles up to Mount Adams with 4,500 feet of elevation gain. All right, so we've moved our way up the airline trail. You can see a little sign for it there. Behind me is the intersection. This way is the Scar Trail. Scar. Reminds me of Lion King. It was pretty steep coming up here. Not too bad, very bearable. You know, just take your time. So it looks like we are about to break tree line. So I guess it gets kind of steep after that. We've definitely uh, made it above tree line. Nice little Look out over here, it's awesome. You can see, presidential's in the back, directly up behind us. I don't think it's uh, the actual summit of Adams, but it's the rocks above, or the rocks under Adams. And behind us is Madison, which I was also told you can't even see the top of from here, so. A crazy view up here, right underneath. It's the intersection of Upper Bruin Way, I believe it is, connects to the Valley Way up here. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I may have went a little bit off trail, but this thing right here, like, it's like rivals Bond Cliff almost. This is unreal. Absolutely terrifying. Terrifying. Vertigo equals no bueno. We are still up here on the airline trail. We're at the airline cutoff that goes to the Madison Hunt right over there. So it's about 0.2 miles to there. It says 0.8 up to Mount Adams, so we'll see. 0.8 miles looks more like two, so I'm gonna go with two. I'm gonna go with two, especially with the elevation. It's gonna be uh, a challenge. You can see behind me, we came up from like that area down there. And directly behind me is one of many false summits. It's a false summit there, you think you're almost there, you're not. There's one here, and you're not. But supposedly, that is the actual summit. So, one of those can't go any higher. Well, it went higher. <laughs> it just keeps going higher. Half a mile. Mm -hmm. You can see the bigger peak behind that too. That's Madison. Um, I'm probably gonna end up trying to get over there today. So, see what happens. It's getting a little windy. Almost up to the summit. just off to the side of Mount Adams. 
just walking around up here, taking in the view. Give you a quick look around in a minute. But you can see the area I was in just last week. Jefferson over there, clay behind it, Washington behind that. So another beautiful day up here. Summit right behind us. Just trying to stay down the air so I'm not screaming you know, from all these people. But I'll show you on the other side. Uh, we got Madison. We're on our way down from Mount Adams. It's very nice up there. I uh, didn't want to record too much video. There was a ton of people up there. So I cut down instead this time going back the way I came. I'm actually heading down to the Gulf Side Trail and I'm going to kind of bypass the route that I came up to uh, Adams by. It's very rocky, very, very steep. So I'm just trying to save my knees a little bit. So you can see around. That's Jefferson over there. So you can't even see the top of Adams behind us. It goes up and over and then back up. So I think that big intersection where all those people are is where I'm in. So off I go. We're still walking across the Gulf Side Trail. This is um, another way down from Adams. It's a, a little bit easier than the way that I came up it. Uh, just trying to save my knees some pain. It was recommended to me by uh, a nice spring chicken who is uh, up on top of Adams. So took the, uh, I think it was the Israel Trail down to the Gulf Side. And now I'm just uh, shooting down the Gulf Side Trail. It's much, much more smooth. You have to go up that way. You cut all the way across. So you think that's the actual mountain. You cut all the way across, go all the way up here, and then it's still further up from here. You can't even see it from uh, from where we are. <laughs> so, so you can see Madison Hut is right behind us. We are heading up now to Mount Madison. So, looks pretty steep. Some people uh, about halfway up there, some coming down. Definitely does not look very easy. So. Don't know how much I'll record up there with this. We'll see. All right, continuing up the trail. We are on the Osgood Trail right now. This is the AT, actually. So we're heading up that away. It's actually further up too. You can't even see the top, but you can see down below with the hut. Kind of cool anyway. You can see Star. I think that's Star Lake is the name of it. Now Washington, the auto road up there. So it's a uh, it's a pretty steep climb. Some uh, serious quad and uh, cab workout. All right, we are just. Uh, just to before the summit of Madison. You can see right behind there. You can see Adams back that direction. You can't see Jefferson, it's all hidden, but Clay is over there at Washington as well. Little auto road coming up. You can see down there is the Star Lake that we uh, were at before. I'll give you a view behind us too. A lot of people coming up here now, so. Crazy. That beautiful, beautiful views. This has been a perfect day. Light breeze, sunny, maybe 70s up here. So, fantastic. And as mentioned, you can see the whole wildcat range over there. So I'm assuming that's the Carter Mariah area.
So right behind us again is the Madison Hut. Didn't want to record too much there. A lot of people over there. We are coming down, came down from up there, up in Madison. Nice little mountain. Not too difficult from uh, the hut here, so not bad at all. Got up there fairly easy, fairly quick. I think it took half an hour from the bottom. Pretty nice, talked to some through hikers uh, coming through on the way to Maine, kicking ass. They're making really good time, so yeah. Gonna uh, head back down. That's 3.8 miles to the trailhead. There's a party I would like to go to today, but I'm gonna see how I feel once I hit the 10 site, see what time it is, see how good a time we're making, so let's do it. All right, so we're gonna round out the day today. I made it to the Valleyway 10 site. Got the last remaining platform or space. It's actually not a platform. Glad it's not a platform. Uh, you can see a little bit, maybe. Madison is up that way. Gonna cook, hang out, calling it an evening. Cooking, sleeping, napping. Probably head out of here, maybe hit something in the morning, but about two, three miles from the trailhead. So, till next time, it's Chris. Chris goes outdoors. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, because it's cool and friendly. So, adios.